Hi guys, I have got great news for you today. So if you are a nurse and you are considering migrating to Republic of Ireland and you don't have a job yet, well, come closer. I've got good news for you because I just came in contact with an agency that you can use in migrating to Ireland. What are you waiting for? Let's get started. If you don't know how to get registered as a nurse in Ireland, I'm going to link a video in the description box because I just did a video on how you can get registered as a nurse in Ireland. So do have a look. Today's video is just going to be about showing you the agency that you can use in migrating to Ireland. So let's have a look together. The agency we are going to be talking about today is called CPL Healthcare and they are proud to be one of the top recruitment agencies in Ireland. So you can just have a look on Google, just Google them up and then you would know more about the company. But today I'm going to be telling you about the job opportunity that they posted on LinkedIn. I should tell you, LinkedIn is a wonderful platform for you to apply for jobs on. You need to ensure that you optimize your LinkedIn page because recruiters usually go on there and view people's pages and, you know, slide into their DMs to talk about job vacancies with them. I can tell you this because I've got quite a number of them in my DM. So please do ensure that your LinkedIn profile is properly optimized and people can get in touch with you when they see that you have qualities that they are looking for. So today's opportunity is for a staff nurse in Limerick Island. It is a university hospital and they are conducting online interviews on the 9th of July for overseas nurses interested in joining their medical and surgical wards. Now, this might not be for you at this stage if you are not currently in the process of migrating to Ireland. It might not be for you. So you need to ensure that you start your process on time and get in touch with this recruitment agency. So the key requirements for you to be eligible for this pathway, you know, you need to ensure that you have a valid NMBI decision letter, which must be valid until mid-2025. NMBI in this case is Nursing and Midwifery Board of Ireland. You also need to have valid OET or IELTS certifications must be valid until mid-2025. So your proof of English, it needs to be valid. We all know that IELTS lasts for two years. So when you write the exam between now and 2025, it should be valid. And then you need to have a minimum of six years experience in medical and surgical wards in a 200 bedded hospital. Most of the hospitals we have in Nigeria, they're more than 200, 200 beds. So ensure that you have that experience in your bag and then you need to have the willingness to sit the rcsi exam upon arrival in ireland the rcsi is royal college of surgeons in ireland and it's just the aptitude test that nurses and midwives need to write so you need to write the theory and oski exam to be fully licensed to practice in ireland now not everybody needs to write these but most overseas applicant would have to write this exam. So you need to have that willingness to sit for it immediately when you come. Don't be scared. You would have training. You would have the support of the recruitment agency, just like how it is done here in the UK. When I moved over to the UK, I moved through an agency as well. And when I got my job and I started my job, the employer did trainings for me, taught me everything I needed to know about the practical exam because I already did the theory exam back in Nigeria. But when I started my job, we had like two tours that taught us everything that we needed to know before we started the job fully. So the two tours taught us everything we needed to know before we went to write the exam and we passed. So don't get scared, don't be worried. There are things that you would be very, very competent in and I'm sure you're going to ace it. So please do get in touch with this recruitment agency. It says that to secure your online interview, email your CV, 
your certificate, those requirements that they have asked you to have and your NMBI decision letter, email it to the email address that I'm going to be putting on the screen. Ensure that you send in your document ask your questions they would be in a better position to answer every inquiry that you have i would not be able to answer that for you because i don't work for the recruitment agency so please if you are interested in this do contact them and come back and let me know how it goes you know because i'm giving you this wonderful information you need to come back and tell me in the comment section if you did contact them how did it go what's the update because i want to celebrate with you and tell you congratulations so whatever the case may be please do let me know and i am rooting for you good luck in your application process if i see more opportunities for you to migrate to ireland i'm going to post it on the channel if you want me to do anything in particular any video in particular please do leave it in the comment section as well i'll have a look into that and update you like my number one fan that you are i will update you on that and do have a lovely day